Hello everybody, uh, we're going to import an Esri ADF format file. ADF is arc grid format. And uh, then we're going to style it and we're going to hill shade it. So we'll click file, import. We're using Radiant Studio. And uh, we'll click on hdr.adf. We're here in a uh, folder that's called data Yosemite. It contains uh, train elevation data for uh, Yosemite Valley. So we click that and then we click open. And bang, there it is. That's the uh, file that's open. You can follow along on, the, on this demonstration using uh, Manifold Viewer, if you like, because Manifold Viewer is the uh, free, read-only version of uh, Radian Studio. You can do everything exactly the way you see it right here for Radian in Manifold Viewer. So let's double-click that open and see what we have. Well, that's not particularly exciting. It uh, doesn't really have much comprehensibility. So what we're going to need to do is to style the data. Click Edit Style. And we're going to apply a palette and some hill shading. Uh, Train elevation data in uh, Radian is imported as an image, that is a raster image, and it shows here as several channels so we can control exactly how that displays. Uh, instead of doing it by channel, we're going to combine all those channels into single channel zero, and we'll style that by applying a palette. I'm going to click the full range button here so that the full range gets automatically loaded into these two range boxes. Then I'll click tally, which gives us uh, using the default of five breaks. And then of all the zillions of different uh, palettes that are loaded, I'll use the default altitude palette. Click that, and that automatically loads into the box. I'll click here for shading to apply hill shading. And now I'll click apply. And right away, that'll color the image using the colors that we've specified, using the palette that we specified. Uh, and it will apply hill shading. Now this hill shading is a little bit more aggressive than I'd like it to be. So instead of uh, using a Z scale of 1, I'll apply a Z scale of 0. 0.1, and uh, we have to remember to start the value in the z-scale with a 0, 0 0.1. It's not just 0.1, 0 0.1. Now I'll click Apply, and there, that's better. So what we now have is we have a view of the region around Yosemite Valley that's around Yosemite National Park uh, that's uh, been uh, colored by a palette for to apply these colors automatically to the elevations. And uh, it used the closest lower value. If we'd like, we could have interpolated it, which gives a smoother effect. That gives a more terrain-like effect. Uh, let's uh, zoom in. I'll right-click and drag to zoom in. And this is actually Yosemite Valley that most people know. Yosemite Village is right around here somewhere. And one of these, either this one or this one, is El Capitan. And I guess Half Dome is around here somewhere. I don't really know Yosemite all that well. I've only been there a few times. But it's uh, definitely worth visiting if you're ever in, the, uh, uh, in that part of California. So uh, let's close this dialog. To save this uh, in Radian, we click File, Save As, and let's give it a file name. Let's call it uh, Yosemite. Yosemite uh, ADF. Click Save, and we're done. Now, everything up to this point, we could have done exactly the same in Viewer, except that because Viewer is read only, that's why it's called Viewer, not Editor, uh, it, uh, you can't use it to save files. In this case, we can. So, for example, if we wanted to, if we click File, Close, we could uh, reopen that Yosemite file again. Let's click right here. And there it is. Exactly the way we left it. If you'd like to change the palette, we can do that easily enough. We can click Edit Style. And let's choose a different palette. For example, let's use the uh, Color Brewer. Brewer uh, well, let's use the Spectral Palette, which is this one here. Apply. And there's that. Let's go back to... Uh, closest uh, lower value. Click Apply. And now it kind of colors it by uh, color breaks. If we don't like that particular coloration, we can change the colors here by clicking into Color Well and changing it. Or we can uh, do effects like this, like click up here and then click Shift-click down here. Right-click and choose Reverse. It'll reverse the palette. Click Apply. And there, that's a different coloration. I think I like that one better. So let's save that. So there we go. We've uh, done this in uh, Radiant Studio, except for the uh, saving the file and then reopening again. You can do everything exactly like this, all the palette stuff, all the important viewing of uh, Esri ADF, our grid format, in a Manifold Viewer, which is a free product, no strings attached. So I hope you've enjoyed the uh, tour, and goodbye from Radiant Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. As always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. 
Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.